Happy Teacher Appreciation Week, guys. I have a free gift for you that you are not gonna wanna miss at the very end of this video. Hey guys, it's Lauren, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can elevate your Canvas homepages. And at the end of the video, since it's Teacher Appreciation Week, I am going to be giving you guys a template of what I created in this video. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end to get all the information on how to download that. This homepage layout that you see right here is the goal for today. So we're gonna create something very similar, not necessarily exact, but uh, to do that, we are going to open up a new page, which I have in a separate tab right here. And we're gonna access the HTML editor down here. Now, in order to kind of shorten up my time, I'm not going to sit here and type out every single HTML code. I'm actually gonna use my own resource that I've shared with everyone for free. It is my HTML code key. So all I'm going to do is kind of take bits and pieces from each one. So I know I'm going to be using div columns. So I am going to copy this code right here, go back to my canvas homepage, and then we are going to get rid of this div and paste in this code. It's not perfect. This is not exactly what I want it to be. You can see when I zoom in here, I have four cells. I only want two right now. So all I am going to do is select the two cells and I am going to actually hold on one second. Let me make sure. No, it's these two <laughs> right there. You want to make sure you have your closing div. So I'm going to just delete these two and now I have two cells, but they're 25% and 25. So this is only going to consume 50% of my page. To change this, I am going to create the first one for my welcome banner. I'm going to make it 75% and the other little section for my name will be 25%. So so now that I'm back, I can actually do welcome banner here. And then we will do Mrs. Janoska. There you go. I haven't styled anything. I'm just right now putting like placeholders here. So that way I can come back and start styling some things up. Now, the next thing that I want to include is a line divider. So I'm just going to write in HR that should create a line, which is great. We're, again, we're going to style this up a little bit later. I am going to to create a section for a little welcome message and an agenda. All I'm going to do, because you'll notice when I hit enter, it's just going to create an awkward space. So on the HTML side, you'll see there's that empty line space. I'm going to delete that. I'm just going to type in div and then paragraph and I'll just do a little placeholder. So I'll write hi and then I'm going to close all of my paragraph and division. And when I go back, I have my little hi and I'm going to now just do welcome key and hit enter. So now I want to create that agenda back to my HTML code key here. I am going to select this one here for the agenda, copy it, take it back. I'm going to place it within the same division as the welcome message. And we're going to change this up just a little bit. So I'm going to make the total width of this division 85%. Perfect. And then also because it's on the side there, I'm just going to do margin auto. And now it's in the center. Instead of having this really huge title, I'm just going to get rid of it. And the last thing I'm going to do is just write agenda. If I zoom in real quick, you'll notice like there's not a lot of spacing or what we would call padding for this div. We're just going to do an overall padding of 15 pixels for now. Much better. There you go. My little mini agenda. So we have have this line right here. I'm going to copy this, go down to the very bottom, paste it just to create another little division. And the last part, we're going to add buttons back to my HTML code key. We're going to go back to slide. This is slide 24. And I'm going to copy this code again underneath my HR, my line. I'm going to paste in those columns again. So I have four cells and they look like this. I have added a new HTML element, which is a button. So we are going to copy this code and I'm going to go in and wherever it says cell one, cell two, I'm going to paste in the button from HTML code key. When I go back to the RCE, I have my buttons, but they need to 
be centered so we will center them all up so now I have my module buttons and what I can do is always just add course links so let's just save this real quick and take a look at it it's starting to look awesome let's keep going so I want to style up my welcome banner I am going to go back to the HTML editor all I want to do is add some styling to this section now instead of typing it all out I'm again gonna go back and you can see here I want this kind of appearance for my welcome banner I'm going to essentially copy the style portion of the code I'm just gonna copy this part we're gonna go back within here I'm going to paste and then I now have my lovely design I want to create these borders I want them to look a little bit different so we're gonna add some styling to that as well I'm gonna return to my HTML code key where I have this border style so copy this code and return back go to the HTML editor where I have line code I'm going to paste this in instead of blue let's do purple so paste this in so now when I return to the RCE I have a purple line across which looks pretty fun I want to change the agenda look a little bit to kind of match this color so I am going to just grab this color change this color and voila now they kind of match which looks nice i'm gonna change real quick the color of this purple to that darker blue color it looks like this which is looking pretty nice so let's say for the agenda i want to add these rounded corners like the banner I can easily go to the banner and we're gonna select that border radius and copy this part of the styling up and then go to the agenda again, which I'm struggling to find again. So let's type in agenda, there it is. Okay, so the styling font size we've got and pasting in the border radius. And so now it is rounded, which it looks really, really nice. I like this so far okay the last piece here are these orangey yellowy buttons so i'm gonna change the color of each one we're gonna go with some lighter colors we'll start with green so i'm copying that color there's module one background color is right here pasting that in now we have that nice pretty color i have my home page here so we're essentially done with this and you'll see that i really use that html code here i picked parts of it and put it in and made it my own i really hope you kind of try it out yourself but again i'm going to give this to you yay thank you guys so much for watching and if this video was helpful i would greatly appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my youtube channel in the description of this video you will find a link that will take you to one of my stores from there you'll be able to download the template for free again this is my little teacher appreciation gift to you well i will see you on the next one bye